This is a study using amivantamab, which is a, a drug that targets, it's a bispecific antibody that targets both EGFR and MET. Now, previously, we've shown some data that this drug can work in patients with EGFR exon 20 insertion, and it's now licensed in that indication for patient, non-small cell lung cancer patients in the post-platinum setting. Uh, and we've seen response rates of uh, 40% uh, and duration of response for 11.1 .1 months in that setting. But because the drug binds to both EGFR and MET, we're really keen to explore the drug for MET-driven disease as well. So that's been the focus of the, the updated data we're presenting at this conference. So MET exon 14 skipping mutations uh, occur in about 3% of non-small cell lung cancer patients. There are currently uh, two tyrosine kinase inhibitors um, with FDA accelerated approval. Uh, that's tapotinib and capmatinib, um, where response rates are around about 41 to 43 percent for previously treated patients. But this drug, amivantamab, works in a different way. It's the antibody, as I've described, rather than a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Um, and um, the Chrysalis study was multi center, multi cohort. And the cohort we presented here is specifically for the Metexon 14 mutated uh, patients, of which we've had 55 patients recruited so far. Recruitment is ongoing. And the bottom line is the population that we recruited was very typical for Metexon 14, um, median age of 70, slightly more females than males. Um, actually, a 50 50 split between smokers and non smokers. People often associate genomically driven disease with non-smokers, but actually I think we can see that it's also present in non-smokers here. And the overall response rate was 33% across the entire cohort of patients. But if we look according to previous treatment, uh, those who had, had no prior treatment at all had an overall response rate of 57%. And for patients who'd had previous treatment but no prior MET inhibitor, the overall response rate was 47%. So if, if we look um, at those patients who are earlier in their treatment pathway and not sort of a, a heavily pretreated population, the response rates look really promising and those responses are durable as well. And so really promising data. It really shows this drug works in MET, in MET driven disease as well as EGFR exon 20 and will continue recruitment into this cohort. And I guess perhaps the only other thing to say is the toxicity profile is very much in keeping with what we've seen for other patients treated with um, amivantamab on chrysalis the safety data for over 400 patients, and the profile is very similar in this cohort, predominantly grade one to two, um, overall well tolerated, uh, and no new safety signals were identified.